Imagine the power of a military-grade AI learning algorithm fused with the lightning-fast capability of a jet fighter. You can stop imagining now because it's already here. With the first sixth-generation fighters expected to enter service in the 2030s, these advanced jets are projected to be a substantial leap forward from their fifth-generation counterparts. Currently, fifth-generation fighters are so rare that they're monopolized by just three countries, the USA, China, and Russia, with South Korea and Japan eager to join this elite group. Will AI be able to successfully run such advanced fighters with a high degree of stability? What are the criteria for a sixth generation fighter? And finally, is this the end of manned crews for fighter jets? Welcome to a new revolution! Like any other technology-intense field, military aviation continuously evolves, shifting its core thrust area for battle from speed, as seen in the first generation, to altitude, then maneuverability, sensor integration, and finally low observability, as seen in the fifth generation. Sixth-generation jet fighters are likely to have certain distinct capabilities to separate them from the herd. Dominating Stealth Capability These aircraft will feature an advanced skin to manage heat distribution and foil detection by radar and other detection systems. Unlike the F-22 and F-35, which depended on technologies with high cost and delayed introduction, the U.S. Air Force aims to follow a path of risk reduction, while the U.S. Navy would rather a sixth-generation aircraft strike a good balance of survivability, speed, and payload. Multi-platform, sixth-generation fighters will also serve as airborne control stations, capable of launching and guiding weapons from multiple drones as aerial wingmen. These fighter jets will feature the ability to generate impressive electrical power for the operation of laser and hypersonic weaponry. They'll also feature an extensive integration of artificial intelligence with optional manning. This allows for the automation of routine tasks by AI and reduces labor costs by reducing the need for constant human presence. They're expected to be powered by an advanced engine, one configured to act like a turbojet at supersonic speed yet perform like a high-bypass turbofan for a smooth and efficient cruise at a lower speed. As sixth-generation fighters are not yet in service, many of their features are conceptualized. So far in the practical production of these advanced fighters, we've seen the incorporation of AI pilots in F-16 combat aircraft, which also involved a mock fight between an AI-controlled F-16 fighter jet and a human-piloted F-16 fighter jet. We'll cover this later in the video. Sixth-gen fighters don't have a clear set of requirements that differentiate them from fifth-gen fighters, as opposed to the clear distinction the fifth-gen has from its predecessors. Now, to ascertain if sixth-generation aircraft truly serve a unique purpose, or if we just need more fifth-generation jets, we first have to consider the design and functionality featured in a typical fifth-generation fighter jet. The fourth-generation fighters emphasized maneuverability and close-range dogfighting. Typical fifth-generation characteristics include stealth with internally stored munitions, prolonged supersonic crews without the use of reheat, high maneuverability, which tends to include short field capabilities, multi-role capabilities on the battlefield such as command, control, and communications, avoiding detection by passive radar detection equipment, among other advanced avionics, networked data fusion, enabling situation awareness on the battlefield. To put in perspective how rare fifth-generation fighters are, there are six operational fifth-generation fighter platforms in the world. America's F-22, F-35A, F-35B, F-35C, China's J-20, and Russia's Su-57, flying alongside more than 25 different fourth-generation fighters. We've all seen how capable AI is in our everyday lives. From the use of ChatGPT in writing that research paper to Alexa and cleaning your home with the smart robot cleaner. How exactly will AI in its ever-evolving existence perform in moments of heated combat? As part of DARPA's Air Combat Evolution Program, an AI-controlled F-16 participated in 21 air combat exercises against human pilots. The results were astonishing. This combat exercise was conducted to investigate significant advancements in AI's ability to handle complex aerial maneuvers and dogfights, aiming to integrate AI pilots into next-generation combat scenarios. The AI-controlled F-16 
named Vista, executed lightning-fast maneuvers, reaching speeds exceeding 550 miles per hour with an internal pressure of five times the force of gravity. It engaged in close encounters with a second human-piloted F-16, with both aircraft racing within 1,000 feet of each other. They performed intricate twists and loops in an attempt to outmaneuver each other. The U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff, General David Alvin, commented on the important use of AI in these fighters, saying, The changing character of war is speed. If we are going to be privileging speed and have massive amounts of data, the ability to have algorithms and the tools that support and let the analysts do what only humans can do, which is make that human decision. This highlights an important factor in humans. Despite the ability of AI and algorithms to process large amounts of data, it all comes down to the last decision, which is made by a human. I guess it's not the end for human intervention in combat aerial missions after all. A potential application of AI will be the quick analysis of identified threats to human pilots, such that the pilots will know in seconds if an enemy aircraft seen at standoff distance is a Chinese J-20, Russian Su-35, or enemy drone. Which of these warfare technology-hungry countries will be the victor? Of course, the U.S. doesn't want to be left behind. Through the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, the U.S. aims to develop its sixth-generation fighter jets, which are in place to succeed the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. Next on the track is Russia, with the Mikoyan PAC-DP program. With this, they aim to develop a next-generation interceptor aircraft to replace the Mikoyan MiG-31. But Russia is yet to complete some of its fifth-generation fighter projects, like the Sukhoi Su-57. Then we have China, with Chengdu Aerospace Corporation leading the research and design of their sixth-generation jets, predicting that the program would come to fruition by 2035. Then there's Italy, Japan, and the United Kingdom, who signed an agreement to form the three-nation global combat air program. Similarly, France, Germany, and Spain are working together within the future combat air system program to develop their prodigy fighter jet, known as the Next Generation Fighter NGF. In this race for superior aerial dominance with the use of AI, what's to be said of the fate of the troops during the war when one of these AI-controlled fighters gets breached? Even the director of the CIA was hacked by a 15-year-old.